Today's story is called A House for Wombats. It's by Jane Burrell and Michael Dugan. Do you remember those animals we saw who lived in holes in the ground? Kate asked her father. He was clearing up after breakfast. The wombats? Of course I do, he replied. It was only two weeks ago we went to see them. And look, here's a wombat having a little snooze. Kate looked out the window of her, through the kitchen window to her favourite climbing tree in the corner of the garden. I don't think wombats like living in the ground, she said. I'm going to build them all a house in my tree. It will have to be a big one, her father said. There are a lot of wombats. Kate's got a nice tree outside her window. She thinks she's going to build a, a nice house for the wombats. So Kate put on her oldest jumper. What will I need to build my tree house? she asked. All sorts of things, her father said. You'll find them in the shed. It's full of building things for tree houses. If you use some of them, I might be able to fit something else in. Kate carried several loads of tree house building equipment from the shed to the foot of her tree. It was tiring work. So she sat down to rest for a while. She wished some of the wombats were there to help her. And look, there's some wombats doing some helping. They're towing a little trailer, carrying the blocks of timber. There's Kate. She's feeling a bit tired, isn't she? Then Kate started. First, she built a floor between three branches. When she had finished, she stood back to inspect it floor, she said to herself. The wombats won't be able to fall through it. Now I'll build a roof to keep them dry. Mmm, <gasps> it's a good roof, Kate decided when she'd finished it. Now I'll have to build some walls. There's a wombat's playing on the roof. Oh, I hope it doesn't fall off. <laughs> The walls took longer and it was some time before Kate could climb down to look at them. They're good walls, she thought, but they need a window so the wombats can see, so the wombats, blah, 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 blah. they need a window so the wombats can have enough light to see what they're eating. What are they eating? Can you see it? Some nice fruit and veggies and things. So she added a window with curtains that could be pulled across at night. Now I need a chimney, Kate thought. If there isn't a chimney, the wombats won't be able to sit in front of the fire on cold winter nights. She climbed all the way up to the roof and built a chimney. Then she climbed down again to see what it looked like. Those wombats look very comfortable there, don't they? Snuggled up on the couch in front of the, the fireplace. I'll have to put in a staircase, Kate said to herself. Wombats probably aren't as good at climbing as I am. I bet they're not as good at climbing as you are either. She made them a nice spiral staircase. Now the house is almost right for wombats, Kate thought. But it's a bit ordinary looking. I'll build on a tower so they can climb up to look at the view. There we go. Nice view of the ocean. When the tower was finished, Kate looked at the house again. This time, it looked just right. She ran over to the back door. Come and look at my house for the wombats, Dad, she called. Look at all the wombats arriving to live in their beautiful new house. Her father came out into the garden. It's a lovely tree house, he said. I like the tower too. Do you think it's going to be big enough for all the wombats who live under the ground? Kate looked at it again. Hmm, maybe not, she said. Maybe I'll just ask one. So there's one wombat up in the treehouse. He's looking very comfortable there, isn't he? 
got a cup of tea. Looks like the, the chimney is there for winter. And that's the end of the book.